cross training has been a buzzword in exercise for probably 10 years now. So cross training means a number of things to a number of people. To, to one set it means I'm going to swim and I'm going to bike and I'm going to run and I'm going to lift weights and do many things, many different things. To some it means within the same exercise day, I'm going to go back and forth between doing something aerobic and something strength training and vary the kinds of exercise that I do. And there are no right or wrong answers. Both are cross training. But when we're talking about cross training your brain, we're talking about how can we stimulate your brain even more while you exercise? Because there is a lot of proof that those people who are more fit actually have larger brains, larger memory. The hippocampus is one example. And they actually fare better with longevity. But how can we actually cross train the brain? One example is called dual tasking. Now, many of you have heard of multitasking, which is nowadays overrated. It's suggested now we do much better if we do one thing at a time, focus on that one thing, see it through, and then move to another, as opposed to the way women's brains work, where we're trying to do multi things all at once, not as productive and, and really more frustrating for us in the end. None of them gets done really well. They all may get done, but not really well, up to our full potential. To challenge my brain while I'm doing that, I would want to be thinking of doing my multiplication tables. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. I have to be careful how many steps I take because I was never very good at math. Okay? <laughs> That'll be about enough. All right. Again, two studies. These two researchers did two studies independent of each other. They weren't tied to each other at all and yet came up with very similar findings. They wanted to know what's the similarity or what's the connection between people with healthy brains. So longevity and the healthy brain, what's the reason for it? What do they have in common? And here's what each of them found. Look at the top three things. Physical activity, mental stimulation, and a healthy diet. One, two, and three. And usually those things have a domino effect. People who start to exercise tend to be more mentally stimulated because they are learning something new. You're having to focus on when do I breathe? How long should the repetition take? How many should I do? How much weight should I do? All of that is a learning process.